Hello and welcome to this video in which we're going to showcase some of the more advanced operation modes of uh, capture glove, such as the input axis, the acceleration and the barometer. We're going to utilize the combination of these inside uh, both the right and the left glove and uh, even the settings that I'm going to, to put are based off uh, uh, the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare so uh, those are the uh, functions that we're going to be looking at to set up. So let's dive right into it and uh, let's start from fingers. Uh, I'm just going to add uh, an index bending, a firing button. So my left button when I bend my uh, index finger on my right hand. And once I reach there, I want it to fire. So it's as simple as this. And then let's move that. Uh, let's going to move into the barometer. And for the barometer, we're going to press the button that the turn on and turn off button that is placed in uh, on your glove and that is the button that is going to reset as you can see the altitude uh, so it's going to basically set the zero point from which you want to start uh, your altitude so uh, at what height is your starting point so from there what I want to set up is that when I bring my arm up up to my eye around here I want to that uh, my character inside the game aims through the gun so I'm going to set this up from around 20 to 50 so once I'm in this range I wanted to uh, I wanted to aim inside the gun so that's usually the right button and I'm gonna set it to frankly limit zero I want it to be infinite I'm just gonna set up one trigger, but you can set up up to five. You can even, you could set up, for example, in trigger two, if you go down, you can set up crouching, for example. So like something like here, control button, for example, if it's control or otherwise CX, usually. And then we go like something here, to trigger an angle, for example. So now, once we are down at this range, is going to crouch inside again. So this is what uh, the barometer is, and basically it allows you. So it basically allows you to set up functions on different altitudes, and uh, it's quite a cool function uh, for games like this, uh, first-person shooters. And then uh, uh, for acceleration, we're going to go here. And the only acceleration that we want is the one for reloading. So up and down, key trigger enable, the trigger range, uh, we can even have it calibrating by just going up and down. It calibrates it on its own. And then for R, action, milliseconds 200, so we just want it to repeat once. And upload the setup. For the left glove, we're going to put the input axis. So input axis is where we're basically going to assign movement to the movement of my left hand. So when I roll my hand from my starting position right and left, I want to do that to be the strafing, which is usually the A and the D key on the keyboard. So when I strafe right at this trigger range, I wanted to do the D key, so going right as a secondary on the other side, I want to do the A key. And so we have set up now roll, and now we're going to set up pitch, so up and down. We're going to set up S when I'm going backwards with my hand, so when I'm pulling up. And then we want W when we're going down. So now we have set up basically functions for uh, this game. 
and uh, on the left club we have our movement and on our right we just have our firing our aiming and our recharging so we'll dive in right into the game just pressing the key, key and now as you can see we're moving down up going backwards and then if I'm straight right straight right straight left left and then in the key button is my firing and then if I pull up my hand I pull up my hand right now here we go it goes into a so going up down up down so now and then obviously the recharge if I accelerate my hand up and down it just does the recharge so now I shoot and then recharge shoot twice recharge so these are some of the most uh, uh, advanced fact, uh, some of the most advanced uh, operations that uh, uh, Capture Glove can 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 do, and uh, yes, we can have uh, so many other applications outside of uh, gaming. And uh, but uh, we look forward to see what you guys come up with uh, with uh, the usage of them. And uh, they, we have also seen some people doing it. Uh, using the acceleration for movement, placing it on their legs so you could have basic acceleration up and down to do uh, to do uh, walking and that's a very interesting feature and but uh, let us know what you can come up with and uh, we'll see you in the next video thank you